Howdy folks, you're watching Deuce, and right now I am currently fighting with YouTube about a certain video. So, while that is in negotiation and everything, and going back and forth with the emails, I decided to put together a, another video of a project, or multiple projects, hopefully this will end up being, which is, I have got into the realm of 3D printing. I'm gonna put you on a tripod real quick here. All right, well, I figure you guys would probably be interested in the world of 3D printing because you can literally print anything. I mean, there are size constraints and there are strength and material constraints, but for the most part, you can get by with a lot of stuff you wouldn't think so, but you can. You can really get a lot of stuff done with this thing. Right now, I am printing the base of a die holder for my lead turret press. And I will show some sort of mock-up of it right now. It's been printing for three hours now, three and a half hours. So there's all not really a lot to show for that <laughs> just yet. In general, 3D printing is extremely slow. This will take 12 to 13 hours and I showed you what that's gonna look like afterwards. That's just a little part about this big or so, about the size of a softball. And it is gonna take over half a day, 13 hours. This carabiner, which is not, I would not trust my life to this carabiner, but it makes a great keychain. It works perfectly for that situation. And I've heard that they've been tested up to about 150 to 200 pounds. I would not trust it to that. But this took like three and a half hours to print. Luckily, it only cost about, I think, 17 cents of material. <laughs> so that's the thing about it, super cheap to print. 70 cents, full size, 70 cents each. Will they last as long? Of course not. They won't last not nearly as long as a stock OEM product. But once you wear it out, it's another 70 cents. You know, it's up, it's up to you how much, how many times you want to print those out and how many you want to print. That's what's genius about this. Unfortunately, it is very time consuming and if time is money, which oftentimes it is, then it is more economical if you're going to produce a lot of something. It's more economical to reach out to an actual manufacturer of products and goods versus a 3D printer. But for little one one off you know type ideas and small shops like what I've got, a little cheap 3D printer works beautifully. They're also super helpful in getting just real small tiny items that you need on a daily basis. Like right now, I need to do some standoffs for my pegboards that I'm, that I'm hanging right now, because I got a new shop, got a cover with pegboard. And you can put up little pieces of wood, little blocks of wood, because you do have to stand off the pegboard from the wall, or you can't get your hooks in. By the way, I found a US supplier, a US maker of pegboard hooks. They're so much better than the Chinese copies. Anyway, I printed up some standoffs here. If I can get that to focus, come on, Canon. Focus there, and you have it, it has a washer and a little 10 millimeter standoff there. Screw goes through the hole in the center. It works perfectly. And each setup here, that cost about seven cents to print off. Now it took five hours to print, <laughs> print a whole bunch of them. But it cost me like seven cents to print. You can't buy these for that. And of course, if I had some scrap wood around, I could go ahead and make some out of scrap wood, which my first pegboard setup, I did do that. But this is just such a, a much cleaner setup and it is cheaper, it just takes time. And it is not as strong as a solid piece of plastic or, or wood, but it serves its purpose. It does what it needs to do. Also what's really cool is the cost of entry. These things have come down in price dramatically over the last five years or so. The actual printer itself, between 200 and 250 bucks. The media, the plastic that you use, the filament, you can get that, I got that for about 25 bucks and it will last for many, 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 many prints. The price has come down so far, it is in the realm of average Joe consumer like you and me. Now again, this is just a simple intro to the, a newbie getting into the world of 3D printing for you know my, my various hobbies as you have seen from my other videos. So if you'd like to ask any questions about a 3D printer, what you can do with them, um, what, what things are good, what things are bad, what limitations do they have for our respective hobbies. 
then uh, let me know in the comments below because I plan to make a 3D printer type series going forward on this channel. Because it, it is an amazing tool, very universal tool. It is not the only tool you need in your shop though. It is, it is one of many, one of many items that I will, that I will use. All the th different things that I do today, I will still continue to do because those are the best ways to do that particular setup. But there are some new things that I can make that I did not have the option to do in the past. Well, guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and go up, subscribe. A lot more is on the way. And again, if you have any questions about 3D printing for people with our hobby, let me know in the comments below and I will try to get to as many of those as possible, either in a message or in a future video. As always, you guys have a great day. See ya.